In this video, I want to compare the fan noise of the 15 inch versus the 13 inch. So right now, both fans are going at 100%. Interestingly, the 15 inch only goes up to about 6,000 revs per minute, whereas the 13 inch goes over 6,000, it goes to almost 7,000. So right now, I'm going to turn off the fans. Now, notice the bass lines of both these fans. The 15 inch goes to 2,000 and the 13 inch goes to 1,000. Now I'm going to turn on the fans for the 13 inch. It's pretty hard to tell. So after testing, I noticed that the 15 inch was ever so slightly louder than a 13 inch. However, the sound coming out of it was more muffled and dim, whereas the 13 inch was slightly quieter. However, it was more high pitch. So they're both not ideal. If you're looking for a fanless solution, I'd look for, out for the new 2018 iMacs or the fanless MacBooks. I don't know if you can see that there, but what I wanted to know, and a lot of people have been asking me, is how do they perform with a 4K display plugged in? So I've been using it fine with a QHD and I've got some tests out there already with that. I plugged it in with a 4K TV. It runs at 30 frames a second and I'll have the full video at the end of this, but pretty much it runs the same as it does on my QHD display. And this QHD display goes at 50 frames a second. I used, um, I'm using over here um, an i7 2.2555X and I did do a, another test, there's another video you can check out, where I compared the i7 against the i9, and I found that the i9-560X combo, the fan levels ramped up the same, but the, the fan curves going down, the i9 took slightly longer, like 30 seconds to a minute, longer than the, the i7, with 555X graphics. So that's the kind of situation you're getting out there. If you are going to be a heavy user, for example, if you're using multiple 4K displays, I can imagine that the best solution for you, and I've got a test for this, I tested out the, the Blackmagic Design eGPU, and I found that by using an eGPU, it didn't speed up the performance by much on the 15 inch, in particular on the 13 inch, it sped up by about 50%. However, it did reduce the fan noise. So if you are thinking about plugging in multiple 4K displays, the, and you want a more quieter solution, and you're looking for a portable, then an eGPU probably is the way to go there, just to keep you, you know, your mind at ease although they make some noise themselves but hopefully in the next year everyone will copy black magic designs you know step forward into um, a quieter experience all right hope you found this useful end of the day it looks like the 13 inch and the 15 inch have similar fan levels especially i think it's to do mainly with the os the fan curves what that's designed for but regarding performance yeah, I'd, I'd go for the, the 15 inch because even when I was using the 13 inch with a 4K display, it did feel a little bit more sluggish than the 15 inch. And that makes sense because these guys have a, a dedicated graphics card. So I hope you found this useful. Any more questions? Um, I'd love to help you out. And I'll be posting a, a three months review video of all the issues I experienced with the MacBook Pro coming very soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Take care and stay healthy. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fan noise levels you get on these 15 inch MacBook Pros when you're connected to a 4K display. Now, I don't actually have a 4K display, I just have a 4K TV. Hopefully that is good enough for you. I also have, ba-boom, a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So I'll be showing you which one makes the most no moist, the moist, the most noise when it's connected to a 4K display. So let's start off. I've been Final Cut Pro. I've got a few apps open. I've got Xcode with the iOS simulator running. I've got Simbench, going to get smashy with that guy. And I've got a 4K video being played. It's back in the days when I used to publish 4K for some reason. So first, Final Cut Pro. The fans here are going at their base level, which is 2000. I'm going to play this video and see if that affects things. Fans are still stable at 2000 RPM, so it's silent. Next up, I'm going to play a 4K video on YouTube. And again, as you can see, the fans are still going at 2000, so minimal usage. Next up, I'm going to run the Xcode simulator with a project running. So I'm just going to hit that and run. So right now, in the iOS simulator, we're getting about 2,900 to 3,000 revs per minute. Finally, I'm just going to destroy the worlds 
and I'll wait until the fans settle and then I'll run this test. Interestingly enough, the fans are actually climbing, so they're at 3,700, even though I've stopped the iOS application. So it's gone to 3,800, it's going up to 4,000, and now, only now, it's starting to drop down to base level. After running the first Synbench test, the fans are at 4,500 and they're still climbing. And 6,000. So they've maxed out after running an intensive CPU operation after one run. Let's see how long it takes for them to cool down. It's starting to cool down now. It's dropping down to 5,000. And, uh, and it'll just get lower and lower and lower. What I want to show you is how loud the fans go when it's not plugged into a 4K display. I'm going to go into Synbench for this one. This time around, the fans only got to 4,200 RPMs. But what's interesting here is, rather than the fans continually to climb to maximum, they're immediately dropping down to their base rest per minute of 2,000. So right now it's at 3,700, 3,600, and it's continually to climb down. So there's none of that two minute wait period after it hitting its max. It definitely runs cooler without an external monitor, but let's see how this compares to the 13 inch. All right, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2016, dual core, i7, all that kind of nonsense. I've got no external monitor plugged in and I'm going to be running the CPU test. Right now though, the rest per minute on this CPU is zero. <laughs> That's okay. Let's run it. I forgot how slow this computer was. Damn. Yeah, 15 inches off. At the end of the first test, the fans are running at 3,200 revs per minute. And after the test, they're immediately dropping back down. So right now they're at 3,000, 2,900. And uh, they're going to drop all the way down to about 1,000 revs per minute, which is the minimum of the 13 inch. But what we want to see is, how does it run with the monitor plugged in? All right, right now, the fans are running at 1,200 revs per minute. Let's see how they go with Final Cut. So pretty much, just like the 15 inch, the fans are very, very tame. We're just playing back Final Cut. Let's try a YouTube video. This is 4K. So again, the fans seem pretty tame, not going up from this base, 1,200. All right, this is Xcode, and the fans are running about 1,000, so I'm just going to run the simulator with my app, which is a 3D app, so it takes a bit of revs. Let's see how this compares. 3,200, 3,900, and it's still going up. Just like we saw on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Yeah, it's not gonna stabilize. It's just gonna keep on going up and up and up. It's at 4,500 at the moment. I'm just gonna turn off the simulator. All right, now it's time for the fan killer, AKA Synbench. I'm gonna hit run. Fans are around 1,000. And at the end of this test, the fans are 4,600. They seem to have settled at 4,750, and now they're starting to ramp down. So that's their maximum point, 4,750, after one sim bench run. That's it. That's how the fans work on 15 inch and the 13 inch. Hmm. That useful.